me for you, joined by an otherwise ten. Hey guys. And, uh, <laughs> um, as promised, I'm playing my fan made you see through the deck against the Rainbow Era deck, so um, who knows? Maybe you say we'll have better luck than Yu Gi and Jaden did. <laughs> yeah, basically, just what everything Dr. Shin84 just said. So, do you want to do dice roll or coin toss? Coin toss! <laughs> A monster in defense and in my turn. Draw. Well, this isn't the best hand to start with. Oh well. Oh, my father my father's just come home. <laughs> I'll activate tuning. Yep. What does that do? Uh it lets me search for a synchron. Tune a monster, uh, add it from the deck to the hand, then I mill the top card of my deck to the grave. Wow, that's pretty cool. It's Ruby Carbuncle and I'll move her to the Spell and Trap card zone. I set three cards face down on the back row and okay. then my turn. Just to know any funny faces I was making there, it was my dad communicating with me through there, so sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay then, draw. What's uh, Bree Synchron's attack? Okay, I will just set another monster in defense and one card on the back row and end. the magic card, rare value. So ruby or cobalt? Ruby. Okay, ruby goes, I draw two. Oh. Uh. I'll activate Ancient City Rainbow Ruins. Any response? Yes, to its activation, I'll chain a quick play spell. Double Cyclone. Crap. Yep. Destroying Ancient City and one of my favorite 
face that once. Okay. Uh, I'll choose to destroy card rotator. Um, okay then. I shall activate Monster Reborn on Ruby in defense <coughs> mode. And Ruby's effect will summon Cobalt Evil in defense. Next, I'll set one card on the back row and end. Oh, oh come on. This is ridiculous. Uh, yeah. uh. <laughs> Amy, Amy, did, my little sister just got the big uh, gold crown jaggy on Monster Hunter. I will activate Crystal Pear. Yep. And I'll choose to put into the spell and trap card zone Sapphire Pegasus. Oh. And with that, I'll end my turn. Draw. <clears throat> I'm just going to check something. Okay, I'm going to activate my trap card, Crystal Counter. I send all spells and traps I control, which is just Sapphire Pegasus, and then I can put as many Crystal Beasts back into the spell and trap card zone as I can, which is up to four, and I can put, so I'm putting Ruby and Sapphire, and then by the end of the turn, they're all sent to the graveyard. Okay. Uh, next, I'll activate another rare value, Ruby or Sapphire. too many cards there, not bad. Just that back there. See, I don't really, I really do not like these deck sleeves at all. I need to get myself new ones. Okay, um... Okay, I will now summon out Sapphire Pegasus. Yep. Use its effect to place Emerald Turtle into the spell and trap card zone. And my cards are sliding in my sleeves, that's not good. <laughs> Where's Emerald? Jeez, cards flying everywhere. It gone wookies. <laughs> um, in place, destroy all up face up crystal beasts. Right, okay. Okay, okay. Cobalt Eagle's ability to return the sapphire in the field back to the top of the deck. Okay. I'll end my turn and uh, Ruby and Emerald, because of Crystal Counter, will go to the grave, but, sa but Cobalt Eagle can go into the spell and trap card zone. And it's your move. So, there's so it's only. So there's right. Uh, Cobalt on the field and in the grave there's Ruby, Emerald, Sapphire, and that's it for the Crystal Beasts. Okay. 